Hello everyone, Elaine Coe reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2015. NASA's ongoing project developing ground collision avoidance software for pilots has seen great success starting with the F-16s. And after extensive testing in an unmanned aircraft in NASA Langley Cirrus SR-22, they brought their smartphone app to Oshkosh for beta testing with volunteer GA pilots. Using their X-Plane simulator in a quiet room in EAA's Air Academy Lodge, NASA engineers were able to gather lots of data for further research. We talked to project manager Mark Skog. We brought the system from the, uh, from the F-16 onto a new set of hardware as well. And in trying to look towards a, a way to bring this technology out to all pilots, we decided let's try and adapt this to a cell phone, see if the software can run on a cell phone. So we made it a cell phone app. Uh, we put the cell phone on the small UAV, did a 20 plus flight uh, evaluation of it, it worked very well. From that stage, Langley's Research Center of NASA asked us if we could adapt it to a, their SR-22, Cirrus SR-22. So we did that in a very short amount of time. We decided to try to move towards a pure GA application. And instead of coupling it to an autopilot where the system automatically avoided, we tried to take the system and make it a manual warning system so the pilot would have to fly the maneuver. What you're going to see here is the work that's gone on since the Cirrus SR-22 flights where we started to develop a warning set of cues. The right arrow here is yellow saying, you know, you, you still have clearance, but there's less margin near. there than to the, to the left. Near. This there's gives you an indication of what's still viable if you want to uh, address the situa situation at that point. If you continue on your, the course, at some point the various maneuvers will drop away, no longer being viable, and eventually you'll end up with only one maneuver that's viable, and when that maneuver is about to go away, the last instant for recovering, then this display comes up. We call this our avoidance director display. This pops up at roughly about 15 seconds prior to needing to avoid. See if it happens, uh, a large category happens from pilot distraction. So are you going to get their attention in time? That's a big question. In fact, our primary um, uh, objective in this design is to avoid nuisance warnings. Uh, EAA has uh, offered us up this space uh, for the week to do the testing, and we've been able to bring in a, uh, a host of pilots from uh, anywhere from uh, 35 hours of experience up to 10,000. Uh, large transport aircraft down to general aviation. So we can also invite the industry in to see what we're doing because this is a new paradigm in how to address CFIT and how a system can work. There's a level of fidelity here that is far beyond the current systems that people are aware of.